verunstalten. So, ich muss das Kleid noch irgendwo verunstalten. Da kann man ja die Schere benutzen. We need to make some adjustments. Schnipp, schnapp, schniedel ab. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <lacht> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. This is it. We've got all we need. Great. Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day, her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge, for blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat, and her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat, as he lived alone. He usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad 
because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. Hmm. Tja, was ist wohl down the hall? <lacht> Are you kidding me? Where would we get a dead cat from? I think that would be taking it a step too far. <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> okay, fair point. So, right, that didn't actually happen. Let's try again. Ah, cool, da müssen wir das richtig herausfinden. Ich versuche erstmal alle falschen Sachen zu benutzen. <lacht> Lass mal alles sehen. Ich glaube, das ist richtig, aber deswegen nehme ich erstmal das. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. Oh, war doch richtig. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> there was a cat's skull stuck on the seat of his bike. <laughs> oh, that's he had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong, and that something had entered his home now too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. A giant blood sucked zombie cat sat on his bed. A giant blood soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Now that's really stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. That didn't really happen. Uh. Everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? <laughs> What really happened was this. Cat Widow is here was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him?
His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper, more like a purr. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Der Cat Widow aimed a shotgun on his chest and fired. Okay, this is wieder falsch, aber ich mach's trotzdem, dass man's halt mal sieht. Cat Widow aimed a shotgun at his chest and fired. Ja, genau. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your sick imagination is running wild against Mrs. A. Right, so that never really happened either. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then... He fainted. Ha ha ha! Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will. Once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list. Ja toll, jetzt haben wir alle durchgestrichen, ne? Äh, ja, hm. Und nun? Waren es vielleicht wir? Das bedeutet, wir haben alle gecheckt. Wir haben eine brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. Really wish there was an elevator in this building. Pew, pew. Oh, oh, that's a Zettel. What's that? A Zettel. What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Flat <gasps> five. 
That's the old guy. Der alte Mann war's. It can't be him. Doch, doch. I guess we'll find out at midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Der alte Mann war es also. Tja, Rentner haben halt nichts Besseres zu tun. Naja, so typisch. Ja, wieso, wieso ist da jetzt der Keller? Wieso ist da der Keller? Hallo, hallo, hallo. Hä? Oh. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Aha. Das war wohl seine richtige Freundin oder was auch immer, keine Ahnung. Chapter 7. Don't feed at all. Ey, ey nix gegen Trolle, ey. Nix gegen Trolle, Mann. Na, was war das? Oh. Hallo? 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 Ein Mond? Ach, das, ja, ich trinke jetzt erst noch was. Oh, Katzen. Oh, oh. Kann ich noch mal speichern? Jawohl, ich kann speichern. Äh, B. Ein Fischtank. I don't like the look of the water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. Was sind das für Flaschen an den Tank? Und was sind das für Kabel an der Türe da oben? Ah. Ah, ah. Da ist er ja, der Dieb, der Verbrecher. Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He is always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. 
Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years, I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Uh, mm, Kuchen? Eine Torte? Vielleicht. Oder ist, ist das die Falle? Da ist eine Bombe, da ist eine Bombe. Ist die Bombe? Take the box. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. <laughs> Take it away! Get rid of it! He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Ne gas Oh God, Mitzi, we have to get out of here quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Ah ja, ah ja, ein alter Röhrenfernseher. Ein Fischtank ohne Fische mit zwei komischen Flaschen oben drauf. Oha. 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 It's too late. Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't! You've got to! This is your only chance! I... no, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. No. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Okay, wir sind tot, Jim. Vielleicht haben wir hier noch ein extra Leben, man weiß ja nie. Oder mein Telefon, aber da ist keiner dran. Da meine Küche, da meine Türe. Oh, da ist wieder die alte Frau. Hallo, hallo, hallo. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. 
And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, 